I'm going to make costumes with tin foil, using it sort of like a sculptural media, but something that's cheap, but still wearable. And what I have got here is tin foil, industrial grade. And that's basically what I have as an idea for what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is use this like a mold. Just a bowl, and I also have a sieve here. So you get an idea that I'm just pushing that, easing that into. the inside because it's going to have to go on and off the head. So I want it to have a little bit more strength. And obviously duct tape is a wondrous thing. So I'm going to reinforce the inside area with duct tape. around the outside. And it's for the use of it, so when it's the wear and tear, it's a little bit stronger. But it also means that you can bring it, make it larger, longer as you see fit. Suggest that you test it to the head size that you want. So that this band here is the size of the head width. If you wanted to extend it so it goes up, you could add another band. Manipulate this to whatever size that I want after that, okay? So, 
at this point you do whatever you want to change it and um, I like the wrinkles personally because I want to eventually paint that and it's going to go into the wrinkles. So that is your basic number one, the helmet. So that's the helmet that I'm doing there. Okay. It needs a bit of working on that. That's your basics. Okay. So number two is going to be the, uh, the shield. to start working more at this is because that's too flimsy to act as a shield you want to hold it up you're going to have to put some reinforcement in there and what I like to use is these skewers so you can put that in to reinforce them. and once again be careful of all these cutting edges they can cut so you might want to just tape them down and I'm going to give a little bit of extra strength to the edges and nothing very much but also a bit of cardboard would do and you could just cut some cardboard and put it there and that will act as the holder but one thing I do like doing is adding extra details to the to the brim and again it's just taking this and making a whole bunch of these. are going to become a little bit harder and it just gives a more rustic finish to it. So again I'm letting the tape go over so that I can add this. actually use the fact that it takes some um, form very nicely to add uh, texture to it. Now, I'm going to use that to reinforce again, make it a tiny bit stronger, but it also gives it a sort of finished edge for a shield, what it's supposed to be. Well, I'm sure you could go to the dollar store and get a nice plastic one. But there's something great fun about making your own and having um, something that is yours. Okay. So now I am uh, not going to finish this. I'll show you a finished one. 
but it's essentially the same idea. But what I am going to do is show how you can make a few details that come out um, through the, the decoration. Don't worry, you can actually just take fingerprints. You go through when you're being a little bit fast and furious. You can actually just patch it, and it won't show that much. Okay? So be gentle, and carry on making your... And I put card right here, especially for the uh, part that you're going to hold. The more you do, the stronger it will be the more activities you'll get out of it. But it is designed to be disposable. It's not meant to last forever. from an old broom handle and I have got a piece of card here, um, cardboard that I've cut and I'll just tape that to there. I'm sure more people can do it better than I, but I've just, oh I'm going to use the tin horn again. This is where we're working, we're going to put the uh, tin foil. over top of that, and glue, oh, a bit of glue would be nice. So this is just no more nails, uh, any white glue should work, but you'll just have to give it take and just put tape up and down to <coughs> turn it into more what it would have been like. 
it had all been the same stick. I just didn't have a stick that was the right size. So I have taken an old broom handle because my broom handles always break. Again, very fast, very furious. I'll have to do a little bit of details, but there I have the spear ready to go. And I just speared it. You can see it's not going to hurt too many people if I spear it, but I'll work on that a little bit better. Okay, the last thing is the breastplate. And this takes a little bit more screen, and definitely a mirror would come in handy. <coughs> Now what I've done is I've used double. You want to go around with the person who the bread plate is for. And give yourself a good amount of space. And if you can so you've gone past your size and then you can double it back. Because you can look the two Shiny side out, so I'll go in the other. So if you can get the double thickness, it and something that you have to be a bit careful about these edges cut. So try <clears throat> right at the beginning try to bring them down just so that it doesn't cut somebody. Reinforcing it and coming up with something 
Again, you want to use the tape to reinforce it to make it stronger. And in this case, I think I'm going to also put uh, something that goes over for straps so that you have the sort of straps that are going to be there. But I want it to be nice and wrinkled like that because it's going to take ink and I want a nice texture and I want that to be too smooth. It's supposed to be speaking material, metal. And then, of course, I'm trying to remember to always put the shiny side out because that's what I decided on. You can equally put the uninclined shiny side out. And the other thing you want to do is to make certain. You have the two straps together so they're roughly the same width. It will make it easier to do them both at the same time. And then I'm going to take my good Canadian tape. is going to really have to be done when you're it's on by somebody else so you get the measure at the back. And try it on. So it's not a hundred percent tried and tested yet, but it really should be tested. And as I say, if you put the duct tape all around, if you want to use it more than one time, the duct tape will just give it that extra strength. Putting on, carrying, using more than one time. But if it only works once, it only works once. You haven't cost yourself a fortune. And there you have the basics of the dress plate. And you can reposition it when it's on the body, ready to go. But now I'm going to have India ink, a bit of water, India ink, and usually I use a bit of white glue, which the lids did come off. So, bit of white glue, and this will help the India ink to stick. And I would suggest that when you're doing this, always have your cleaning up messers ready to go. Give it a good stir. Now, whatever the proportion is in this, uh, if you find that you go to do it and you put too much water to too much ink or you run out of ink, Leave it for a day or two, it'll evaporate and get stronger. So now what I'm going to do is start painting it. And thus you'll understand why the newspapers are all there. Well, for this messy job. If it goes out of shape, don't worry about it. You can still work on it later. Right now, it's just the pain here. And of 
goes any shape that you want. details that you've put in. You can work with putting all kinds of different details on the, behind the tin foil to give yourself extra details if you want. If not, Okay. 